bringing the people behind our food to life. The kale's right near where Brian is. That's the winter area. I'll just drive down and meet you guys. Sure. I actually just harvested a bunch, but so this is our red kale. And what I like about the kale is the stock. That's what tastes so good to me. <laughs> That's where you can oh, yeah. taste the sweetness. It's exactly like cabbage. Mm -hmm. That would be great I mean, they're very, all in the same family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then so would you just strip the leaves and, and, and braise them? That's what I like to do. Just well, what we would... usually do here at the farm is we would strip the leaves maybe or just chop the stems and saute those with the onions mm -hmm. and then add the greens after. At the end. Yeah, right. but I, I love the crunchy Maybe a little bacon stem. fat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yum. Yeah, those, so. those are really good. There and are a lot of kales where people just sort of strip off the leaves and they don't actually eat the um, I know, this is a pro-stem farm. We're into <laughs> stems here. We always use the stems. I like the stems Absolutely. of the chard. I like stems of, of collards. I, like, I just saute them first. Mm. And I feel like it's a good part of the plant with lots of nutrients. So why would you waste that part? Right. So, um, so in winter, the colder it gets, is it true? I've, I've, I've heard that, mm -hmm. that the, um, the leaves get more tender. Have you um, noticed that? The, that the best time for kale the is The flavor gets sweeter is what happens because oh. kales and the whole Bresca family, they have something like an antifreeze in them. And so when the cold kicks in, it oh. turns them sweet. So that's why to me, kale is such a perfect winter crop as opposed to a summer crop because it's doesn't it's something about the colder the weather, the more it activates the antifreeze component. And I don't know the, the chemistry about that. Right. I just know that that's what makes it sweeter. Mm. That's so, really sweet. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And it's, it's so beautiful. Really and it brings out the colors too. Mm -hmm. So this is the Lacinato kale here. So this is a really different kale. And this has t 12 different names at least. It's <laughs> called black kale or Nero de Toscano or Lacinato or dino kale. I think someone thinks it looks a little bit like a dinosaur and it gets, I think it looks like a palm tree. If, if it were to keep growing and you'd keep picking the bottom leaves, pretty soon you'd have a palm tree looking thing here. See how different it is? It's right. got really savoyed leaves and, um, uh, and quite a different flavor too yeah it's um less brassica-y and mm -hmm. so when, when you harvest it you're just pulling the leaves the, the good juicy leaves off and then bundling them together you, or you don't bundle them we just put them in a big case and you know sell it by the pound so okay. people buy five pounds you just kind of pull it off like that mm -hmm. And then the plant just keeps going and yeah, going. Yeah, it'll wow. it'll keep going up the side. These are these are some nice leaves here. I'll come over here. I needed a couple more pounds. Yeah, that's no good. So that looks frozen to me. That's right. no good. But these look great. How about that? <laughs> okay. Called winter red. Yeah.